So today's video will be October Cage Shows, and this is Hand 7 TLC Love. And um, it was meant to be a Dirty Nature review because Purple Barbie 07 requested it. But um, the food had mites in it, and I had, but the airtight container was still, like good. So I have to wait till that finishes, and I'm like, buy a new bag of that food. And, um, and then I can do a review because I wanted the packaging. So today's video will just be October cage choice. So sorry, Purple so Barbie. I have a surprise for you, but first we're going to get off with the normal um, cage that you've seen before. So right there she has a, um, a, like a cheesy chew, but it's by Furplast. I did a review on that. I'll leave it in the description bar. Then I have a wooden apple chew. Um... Then here is like an edible hideaway. It's made of like that material, like the snack shack log. Then um, I have an anaco, like a doy th dolly thing. Then she has a purple grape chew. The bedding she's on currently is um, just like hay pellet bedding. Oh, my camera's shaking. Then we have um, like a corn chew. And she has started to like chew on this and quite surprising. I didn't think she'd chew on it. And then she has her purple, purple um, six inch wheel. And it just hooks onto the back of the cage like that. Then um, here she has like her, it's, it was her old food dish. But I put this here because it just helps her climb up to the tube. And then she has her sip, sip, Lava Edge by Super Pet. And this is like meant to like hook onto the side of the cage. But instead, I decided to use it as like a, like a rock, it's made out of lava, a kind of, I think. And um, it really helps trim down her nails, it's quite scratchy. Then she has her Living World water bottle, with a little carrot in it. So yay, more like Halloween. I try, okay, it's then like blurry. I tried to make her cage look like Halloween, but it's hard. Then she has um, this like stick climbing thing by Woodlands. Then she has just this tube that came with the cage, and it's orange, and just see-through. And yep, so I've explained that. Yep, so this is this side of the cage. Normally I put, like, more toys in here, but I wanted it to look Halloweenish, and I don't have many Halloween toys. She has these tubes which connect to her add-on cage. So I thought to buy an add-on for her cage, and this is the add-on. So, yeah. So first she has a green platform and she has one of those Anaco chews. Her this is like a hamster times book kind of thing. Then um they can chew on and her food dish filled with the deli nature food. Then at the bottom here, which is like underneath the platform, and here is like a mushroom heart and she really does like it. Then here I just wrote Honey Halloween. Then we have Trick or Treat, Boo. Then Nix the Lid, Enter if you dare. So the lid is like see through, and I kind of like, like that. That's really um high, this cage. Yeah. And she has like a tube that helps her get down to onto the platform. Um, so first we have one of those edible logs. Uh, but this one is the Pets at Home brand. Then we have a hay tunnel, and this is by Woodlands. And so she has a deeper, like, level of bedding um, in this cage. And just, like, under the platform, she has nothing, so she can just, like, she likes to be able to run about in this cage. And that was really the purpose of it, like, to not put so many toys in it. So, yeah, so that is this cage, and this is an overview of my two cages. Yeah, so that's today's cage. Thanks for watching, guys. Bye.